Windows 11 is here. The lines are blurring between mobile OS and desktop OS. Be it Mac OS or iOS or then Android and uh, Windows. A lot of features from your mobiles are now coming on your desktop PCs. And Windows 11 is a prime example. If I talk about upgrade between Windows 10 and Windows 11, it is all about productivity. That's the focus. I'm going to talk about 11 new features that uh, Windows 11 has bought, which I think is going to change the way you work on a desktop. But before that, I want to tell you that everyone who uses Windows 10 right now is going to get a free upgrade to Windows 11. Yeah, that's a good thing. And it is going to be available this fall. That means around October, November, December, around that time, you will be able to upgrade it. So that's good news. Remember, Windows 10 came way back in 2015. So it's been about six, seven years. It's been more than six years since we are seeing a newer version of Windows. And in during these six years, I'll tell you what, mobile OSs have come a long way. A lot of features have been introduced in mobile OSs, which I think get a place in Windows PCs. Let's start off with design. New start menu. Yeah, it's right in the middle. It's not that uh, you have to keep it there. You can shift it towards left or right the way you want it. But it's more flashy right in the middle. I'll say kind of Mac OS style. And sharp edges and squares have uh, given way to you know, softer edges, rounded corners. It looks more modern, so to say. And from what I have seen and used, it has become more user friendly. Again, uh, you know, when you operate this new Windows 11, you feel, you know, the lines are blurring. Yeah, it is more like um, a mobile OS rather than what we used to call Windows. You know, they have bought a feature called Snap Layout. It's exactly like mobile. I mean, you have multiple windows. Basically for multitasking, you can have different views two views, four views, six views, eight views, different views where you can actually run different softwares. So for multitasking, it becomes much more easier. So on a single screen, you can have two different windows having two different softwares doing two different things. So yeah, multitasking has become easier on Windows 11. Widgets find a way on Windows. Yes, widgets are generally associated with uh, yeah Android or iOS, which are mobile OSs, but now you have it in Windows as well. And exactly, you can have a weather widget, you can have a calculator, widget or you know so many different widgets that are available so that you can readily access them when you want it you don't have to go to navigation menu open it directly you can operate from the widgets just like in mobile you have different home screens yeah there is main home screen and then you swipe and then you have another one and generally you keep your uh, different apps on mobiles on different uh, home screens so that you know you segregate them that's exactly what you can do with Windows 11 now you have different desktops so you can have one desktop with uh, all your gaming uh, software the other one you can have with all your productivity software then the other one you can have with your multimedia software so you can have basically different desktops now in windows 11 big 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 feature yeah now you can operate uh, android apps on windows 11 yeah it's not really straightforward in windows store you get amazon app store and from those amazon app store you will have to install android apps which you can use on windows 11 not bad for a start, not bad at all. And yes, there is good news for gamers, native gamers on Windows. You get auto HDR support. Yeah, for players, if you're a gamer, you want to play in HDR, you can do that. And for developers as well, if they want to develop games in HDR, they can do that. So yeah, that's nice. And with the changing work environment, yes, uh, it's now hybrid work environment where we work from home, remote offices, offices. So the, the teams are distributed. And for that, Microsoft Teams gets even deeper integration. It's in your workflow itself. So it becomes much easier when you want to do video conferencing, collaborate with your teams, which are not in one place, but located elsewhere. Even on security, Win Windows 11 has got an upgrade. It has now got a TPM 2.0 chip. So uh, for running Windows 11, you will need that chip. So yeah, not that your existing hardware will not be able to run Windows 11, but the new hardware which is going to come will require these TPM 2.0 chips. Let's talk about updates. Um, uh, with Windows 10 or earlier, there used to be two major updates and then regular security patches used to come. Now with Windows 11 and going forward, there'll be only one major upgrade through the year. Yes, you will keep getting those uh, security patches, but only one major update. And finally, a big change is coming. See, Windows 10 and uh, earlier versions they were not 
touch friendly obviously because that was not the use case but with hardware changing because nowadays you get tablets you get tablets with keyboard you get touch screens all these kind of devices windows 11 has now become easier to use yes windows 11 has become touch friendly the icons the text the spacing between the icons has changed it has been improved so that it's not uh, your cursor anymore with your fingers you will be able to easily operate it so yeah we'll see a lot of windows tablets and two in one machines touch tablets and all that I'm looking forward to them. So that's what uh, Windows 11 is in a nutshell. Yes, there are a lot more features which are going to be there in Windows 11, but I thought these 10, 11 features were very important, and that's why I told you. By the way, if you have liked this video, please, yes, smash that like button. And if you have not subscribed till now, yeah, we bring you quality videos on this channel as well. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. That's about it in this video. Until next time, keep tracking and stay safe.